Hello, my name is Nikki Bray, and I am the Adaptive Learning Fellow for WCET. Today I have with me Dr. Robert Manzer, the Provost and Chief Academic Officer for American Intercontinental University. Hi, Dr. Manzer, and welcome, and thank you for joining me today. Thank you for having me. It's great to be with you. Excellent. Well, I'm just going to pose a few questions for you that I think our community uh, would like to know more about. And we're focusing primarily on the higher ed administrators. So two things come to mind when you think about the role of faculty. Um, number one, like, what does that role really look like? You know, in terms of how is it different than what the current role or the traditional role of faculty? Sure. I mean, I think um, w with faculty, uh, you know, you've got wonderfully gifted people. And, and, and one of the things that we had to overcome in, in moving in this direction was really emphasizing that, hey, putting adaptive learning in the classroom is not at all about replacing faculty. Faculty are the core of what we do. Um, you know, in many ways, our business is a very simple one. It's about having, um, you know, very good faculty um, supported and doing a really good job and, and really great interactions with, uh, with students. I mean, that's what it boils down to. Um, so what I emphasized as we got going here was that this is not about displacing faculty. It's about making faculty potentially even more effective because you're introducing uh, this ability to know what students know and, and to, um, to take it to the next level, which is to say, to develop strategies of, of intervening in the learning process with this particular student or with these groups of students based on what they know, which is really a different kind of teaching. Um, but ultimately, it, it's easy to see why that might be more effective. Um, so then you've got the challenge of, well, what about, what if faculty really don't see that that's really what they're all about? You know, that they, they're really, they're more about uh, this expertise that they've been a long time developing and they want to uh, impart in the classroom. It's sort of the more traditional understanding of what faculty are about. And, and you know, I think that we have got to be very respectful of that subject matter expertise and, and how that comes to, to, uh, to, to work in a classroom. At the same time, I think, you know, in many ways, um, what we've got to celebrate about our faculty is, is their passion for students and their passions for, for student progress. And everybody's got a, an experience with students where they surprise you and, and uh, a light bulb goes on. And, and um, it's the faculty who really steer by those experiences that embrace uh, adaptive learning or teaching with technology. Um, and, and, and in many ways, we want to be as supportive of, of those faculty as possible. I've taught at a lot of smaller universities <laughs> And worked at them as, as, as administrators and, and every university has these folks who just get out of bed every morning to teach the students. They just have a passion for it. It's what they're all about. And that's not to demean any, any other kinds of faculty and even you know, ones who particularly define themselves in terms of their subject matter expertise or their standing within the discipline. We need all those folks. But with adaptive learning, you really have the opportunity if your passion is for students to take it to the next level, because now you're teaching on the basis of knowing what they know. Um, so it can be a much more efficient process, it can be much more accelerated process, because you can hit on all cylinders. You've got an engine which is helping you understand what the students know, helping students learn. They really enjoy it, they're getting constant feedback, they're getting constant reward and stimulation. Um, and you've got faculty working with all this data that they now have on the students and can use to facilitate strategic interventions and um, knowing exactly what the students need and when they need it. So speaking about data, <clears throat> you know, I'm trying to help people envision what does that look like? Is it just a bunch of numbers or the platforms that you partner with, they help you to organize that data in such a way that it's very easy for you to pinpoint um, areas of concern, areas of strengths, how does, that, how does that data look? What does it look like for a professor or an administrator who's, you know, wanting to see if adaptive learning is having a, an impact or if it's effective? 
Well, yeah, I mean, uh, that's a great question. And we work with uh, Realize It, and their platform is very user friendly. Um, and it gives us all kinds of data. In fact, you're swimming in data all of a sudden. So you do need to um, put it in a form that, uh, that faculty can really use effectively. Um, and we've done that, and we um, have a fair amount of support and development work with faculty to help them utilize. And, uh, but in many ways, I think our greatest success is that we've been engaging faculty in this process from the beginning, and they've helped us think about how to use data, and it's, and it's, and it's evolved. Um, and, and, and we've learned some things. We've made mistakes and uh, um, we've tried to, to um, impart um, uh, techniques and so forth. Sometimes those don't stand up. We, we had a um, faculty and telepath panel for a while and we would assemble folks and, and, and uh, uh, glean their, from their experience uh, lessons that we could uh, bring to the larger classroom um, and to the larger faculty. So. In many ways, what it is is, is is putting the data out there in a user-friendly form, uh, data that shows you know, which elements of the subject the fact that the students have a better grasp of, which elements uh, that they don't, um, how many students share that, and then working with faculty, creating forums, if you will, for faculty to engage one another and talk about engagement strategies or intervention strategies with the students. And, um, and, and really just creating an environment, a community in which you can take this tool and, and maximize it. Um, and, and it isn't necessarily a, a top-down initiative. Um, it, it's something that you need a lot of folks involved who, who are passionate about um, getting better results and see the possibilities and then help them find uh, all of our way to that new way of teaching.